Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. Today I want to do that slide and tilt mechanism in Onshape. And seems it works. I had to do some preparations similar to Siemens and Nixon Cartier V5. And I had to use sort of a little trick to make it work. But let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, I've already imported those two step files, which you can find on my GrabCat account. Now, in order to make it work, I have to add some features to this guide plate. So, I want to do a sketch. Let's see where the plane is. I could use the plane, but I want to do it on the surface here. Now, I need as construction elements some edges. So let's go for use. I want to use that edge here and the edges of possibly that surface here. Yeah, I could use the inside edges as well, but it doesn't really matter. Why? Because I cannot use arcs. Why? Because if I make an extrude surface with those arcs, that surface would be tangent, but I cannot use it in the assembly for a tangency constraint. That didn't work. So I have to do it in a different way. First, I want to use that center point here, because I need that point. And then I want to use a spline. First I can draw some arcs just for adjustment. So go for a three-point arc, which starts here, goes maybe up to this, and maybe like that. Then add concentricity. Then add a tangent arc where here we are which starts here goes in that direction maybe like this again add concentricity make sure it's tangent but it should be tangent and then a last arc again tangent one from here to this one. And again, I want to use concentricity from this one to that one here, this one. As I've already told you, even if th those are tangent, I cannot select the complete extrude surface as tangent surface. That's kind of strange, because if you use that slot surfaces, it will go all around. But uh, now I want to add a spline, which is at least tangent, because it's continuous in curvature, and I, w I want to uh, simulate that path here as close as possible. So I want to add some points in between. Go here, maybe one point here, another point there, go there, add another one in between, and put it right there, and escape. Now let's try to select that spline and make an extrude. So let's finish that sketch. Let's go for an extrude, and I want to use the spline. So go here, go for select other, and I think that's the one. It should be a new surface, and I want to go for symmetry. And confirm. Nice. 
Now I can go for the tilting part. Okay, let's bring the tilting part, this one. And again, I need a sketch. Again, I could use the plane, but I want to do it on the surface. Let's go for a sketch right on this surface. And again, I need to use edges. So let's go for this one and that one. That should do. And let's go for this edge here and again put a point right at the center here and a line from that one to the other one from here to this point finish that sketch let's make another extrude now with that line here, it should be a surface, it should be symmetric. Confirm. And that's one, that one is done as well. Let's show that sketch because I need that point. And maybe I forgot to do this here, but I have to bring in that sketch anyway, and then I can switch it on and off. So let's go for a new document and make this slide and slide and tilt mechanism go for the assembly and bringing the first part and that would be the guide part so go for other documents my own ship that would be the guide plate and I need to create a new version And I want to bring in the parts, the bodies, the sketches, and the surfaces. And I want to fix it somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Okay. Let's take a look. The sketch is here. Yes, it's visible. It's okay. Now bring in the second part. That would be the tilting part again I need a new version and again I want to bring in the part the sketches and the surfaces and just put it right there Now I have to group those elements, so go for group, group them all, and confirm. Now let's add some mates or constraints. First I need a planner one between this surface here and that one. Confirm. Now I want to put that point onto this surface and I think that's where is my point? Did I forget to make that point? Or is the sketch not visible? The sketch should be visible. Let's take a look. Maybe I forgot that point. Let's 
Oh, there you go. There is the point. Okay. So go for tangency. Use this point and put it onto that surface here. Confirm. And then put this point onto that surface. Again with a tangency mate. This one onto that surface here. And I'm done. So let's just hide, sketch, sketch, surface, and the surface as well. And if you now move that part, the tilting part, it will slide along here and slide along there. So therefore it will tilt. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cap fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.